Today on Heavy Metal Frequency, I'm reviewing Nemec, the Audio Injected Soul. This is a, basically it's a industrial melodic death metal project. There's some other stuff to it, like progressive metal and groove metal. It has some Meshuggah influence, possibly some other stuff like soil work. Uh, they were early Fear Factory, very early Fear Factory when they were still an industrial death metal band. Um, there's some complexity, not as much as like Mashuga, but there's still some complexity to the rhythm section and stuff. My one thing with Nemec is I wish they had more guitar solos and stuff. They There are a couple guitar solos on here, but I wish they went further than that. Um, it's uh, also, as, as an added bonus, they created a AM 3D um, headphone technology, which, um, alters the sound experience and stuff. You can look it up, it's really cool, but unfortunately they only used it on a couple of tracks, specifically the audio injection and death box, so it's only on two songs, an intro and one actual song on this album. And uh, this is kind of a nostalgia thing for me. This is the first two Nemec albums. This is their second album. Uh, I listened to a lot in college and uh, their, vocal, their original vocalist quit and they got uh, Gilliam, a uh, French vocalist, I think Gilliam Bedeau, I apologize, I could be pronouncing that wrong, the clean vocalist from Scarb, and he was the vocalist for Nemec for three albums, and during the interim between their first, their first and third vocalists, they had another vocalist from a band called the Transport League, and so uh, I do have a slight preference for their Melodeth stuff, and this is kind of a counterpoint thing because some Melodeth bands are more melodic and some of them are harder or whatever. And sometimes Nemec, because it's done in counterpoint, some of it is slightly harder, some of it's slightly more melodic. And because, and it's further diluted because there are other genres on here like industrial, groove metal. Also thrash, there are some thrash elements as well. Some people also, I read a review on Amazon years ago that someone thought they were an unintentionally hilarious black metal band. So you could say there's kind of a black metal aspect on here. For some reason, the vocals kind of remind me of Alexi Liaho, and I don't know why. They just do. So uh, this is an excellent album. Uh, Dream State Emergency is fantastic. The the uh, synchronization of the guitar and drums are fantastic on a lot of the songs. Uh, Door 2112 is cool. Sane versus Normal is a very strange and interesting song. Uh, I just really like the interplay among things like the industrial and melodic death metal elements and the progressive metal stuff and some of the thrashy elements. I, I really, really like that and I can see possibly an influence of some bands like Meshuggah and Soil Work. And I know I'm reiterating that, but still. And so this is just a, this is a fantastic uh, sort of unique take on melodic death metal. There are other industrial melodeath bands. Cybreed pretty much counts like industrial death metal, industrial melodeath with some black metal touches. But uh, there are a few of these melodeath bands that are pretty original and Nemec's definitely one of them and I want to start here because this is I feel like Audio Injected Soul is a little more accessible than Mechanical Spin Phenomena also as an interesting little side note uh this is a special edition gold disc version which is kind of cool yay so I would definitely recommend picking this up if you're into melodic death metal or industrial or you're interested in something a little bit more original, I guess, than your average industrial or Melodeth band, because this is just a really good album, and uh, just, like I usually say, spend a little bit more time with it, because it's a little bit more technical, a little bit more progressive, and thank you, and have a good night.